Yo, what up, guys? It's your boy T Dub. What's blazing in, in sports? This is your boy, early morning uh, coffee edition. All right, so we got a pretty nice fight coming up this weekend, guys. Danny Jacobs versus Louis Aries. Oh, man. This has the potential to be a really, really good fight. Um, you got Lewis, who is a young gun, very hungry, and you got Danny Jacobs, who is probably more now uh, the more known fighter based off of how how he fought, what he had to overcome, and, and what he's doing now. But this is a really good fight, guys. So let's just jump right into it. Let's get into my version of Tell the Tape. All right, so when you look at the win column, you got Danny Jacobs with 32 wins versus Lewis with 18. Um, Danny does have a couple lost blemishes on his record with two losses. But out of 32 wins, 29 of those wins came by knockout. And as I said about Lewis, 18 wins, no losses. I repeat, no losses. And eight out of those 18 wins, nine coming by knockout. Have a little bit high difference with Danny's being six foot one and Lewis being five foot eleven. All right, so for some of you guys that don't know, maybe have just stumbled across this video. I think you should check out this fight. It is going down on HBO live on HBO November 11th, middleweight bout, 12 round bout. Who are you picking? All right, so some people may or may not know Lewis, and some people may know him from basically being with TMT, the money team. There were some things going over there. Um, I believe he was given some papers, so he had to leave. Then he signs with Rock Nation, which, you know, sometimes always leaving is not a bad thing, just like uh, Jesse Vargas ended up leaving TMT. He went with Top Rank. And he did okay. You know, he took a couple of losses at the end, but he did okay. I think he lost to Manny Pacquiao and Tim Bradley. But now we have Lewis. Um, I'm going to talk probably, probably more about Lewis than Danny because I think Danny's the more known fighter. I am going to touch on him. Don't get it twisted. I'm going to touch on Danny. But Lewis is one of them guys, man. One thing I like about him, he's very patient. I mean, for only 18 fights, he fights very patient. He fight, you know... Um, very calm. I like his punch selection. He has an arsenal that, you know, um, when he attacks you, um, he jabs. He sets you up for traps. He can circle the ring. Um, I really like the way he varied that right hand. He can come down the pipe with that right hand. He can come uh, around the corner with that right hand. And I even like how he digs it, you know, an uppercut. When some people may throw a double jab to the face, he might throw a double jab and then, you know, hook to the body, a double jab, uppercut, you know, to the sternum or, or to, the, to the stomach or somewhat. You know, he's really nice. I like the way he works the body, you know. And when you look at Danny, you know, Danny one of them guys that when I normally see Danny, you know, a lot of times you can tell that he fights with emotion sometimes. He also has a very good combination selection. Sometimes Danny can get drawn out into wars. Basically, if you hit Danny and you tap him hard enough, Danny's going to dig in, put his cliques in, and he's going to bang right back with you. Now, um, Danny has uh, a couple losses, like I said right here, um, his last uh, loss was against Triple G. A lot of people felt Danny, you know, lost that fight. A lot of people felt Danny won that fight. You know, it just really depends on how you call it. But I'll tell you one thing. Uh, when I lost, Danny Jacob fought his ass off that fight. He fought Triple G very, very well. And, um, heck, I think he even threw more punches uh, and maybe even landed more punches than Canelo. Uh, but Canelo, well, that was actually a draw. So, you got Danny versus Lewis. Very interesting matchup with these guys bringing to the table. Um, it's going down in New York. Uh, man, it's just going to be tough. You know, I guess one thing else we can look at, uh, guys, just to let you guys know, this is 100% live. So what I do is I get a topic in my head. I take uh, one of my, you know, total three breaks from work, and I come over here and I try to shoot a video and get it out to you guys. Um so let me get back to it. Oh, I should have just kept going because I was thinking about it. Now I almost lost it. But you know what? It don't matter. I can get back into it. So you got Danny Jacobs, um, who definitely has more power. Well, at least on paper it says he has more power because he has more knockouts. You got Lewis, who can methodically break you down and land those shots to get you out of there as well. Um, a lot of times, even though you can have more power in your punch, but a lot of times it's can you take the other punchers 
power as well, you know. I think Diddy took Triple G's punches pretty well. Um, even though I know he came in, you know, probably probably bigger, he took his punches pretty well. Another thing that stands out right here, guys, is even though uh, I think Lewis is a very good fighter, very talented fighter, I mean, uh, if he keeps fighting, keep winning, he's going to get nothing but better. But when you compare just resumes, there might be an area right there that Danny Jacobs stands out in. Because Danny Jacobs has the stronger resume. He fought the stronger people. I hope Danny right now is not looking past Lewis. Uh, Lewis has been talking some smack, guys. Lewis said, what did he say? Uh, Down goes Jacobs. Down goes Jacobs. Jim, I don't think he's getting up, Jim. You know, <laughs> he's very confident. He's looking for that upset. He's hungry. And that's something that's accountable, too. Because sometimes you get some seasoned fighters that, yeah, they're good. They know they're good. And they kind of look past some fighters because I've been hearing uh, – I haven't actually heard, but just being around, I heard that Danny Jacobs um, want to fight the winner of Lemieux and uh, Billy Joe Saunders and, you know, uh, even entertaining, uh, fighting Charlo, if that's an option. then you know, with some other fighters, because, you know, he wants the best of the best. You know, before trying to move up and wait, he wants to fight the best of the best. He won his opportunity. He had a fan to fight, chance to fight Triple G. Um, the de decision did not go his way, and he's looking to fight bigger names. But right now, he has a very hungry, young lion in his face. Um, I do not believe Lewis, Lewis is going to come out fast. You know, he's very patient. You know, he fights how you teach a lot of fighters to fight. You know, some fighters go out there and they throw caution to the wind and they try to they get a little bit reckless. He fights very methodically. Um, nice, calm, very poised. You know, throw his jab, throw one, two, switch up. I like the way he digs the body, goes to the body early. He has a lot of good things going for him right now. But what he is facing, guys, he is facing Danny Jacob, and Danny is going to come. Danny is going to land his punches as well. And, um, you know, sometimes when Danny fights emotional, it can be a little bad for him because, you know, depending on who he's fighting, you can get caught in exchange and you can, get, you know, get dropped or – he can dig down and commit to whoop your ass. You know, you just never know how it's going to go. But I'm telling you right now, um, this fight is not going to be one of those to do millions and millions of views, you know, but it is a really solid fight. The only difference is uh, a lot of people don't know who Lewis is. And uh, still, even Danny fighting Triple G, he's just not a, a household name that people just no, even if you don't know a lot about them. But guys, your boy T-Dub was blazing the sport. Just want to touch on this fight. Who are you picking? You can always let me know in the comment section. Um, you can take a second to subscribe, like, share the video. Sharing is caring. Uh, if you have any other subject, any other topics, any other fights you'd like to hear your boy talk about, you can always recommend that as well. And I will take a look into it and see what we can do. T-Dub, what's blazing the sports? We are here live.